Hello and welcome to this video on running your app on a physical device. My name is Ankur and let us begin. In the last video we saw how to run your app on an emulator or a virtual device. But while developing, it is really important to test the app on an actual device to figure out all the scenarios and also to find all the bugs and fix them before you release the app to the market. Some features and scenarios are only available on a physical device. So it becomes really important that while developing, you also test your app on a physical device from time to time. So let us begin. Now, first thing is to connect your phone to your desktop. For that, you will need a USB cable, depending on which type or which USB type your phone is. But for now, just go to the settings app in your phone and find the about phone under system. Now, this might be in different places in different phone. But what we are looking for is the build number. Now, once you find the build number, start tapping it. After two, three taps, the phone will show you how many steps away you are from becoming a developer. Once all the steps are done, you might be asked to enter your PIN or password or even register as a developer. Once that is done, developer options will be enabled in your phone. Go back in the menu to find the developer options. Choose the developer options and look for something called USB debugging. Once you click on USB debugging or enable it, the phone will show you a security prompt that now you can install copy data using a USB cable from your desktop or Mac. Now, if you plug in your USB cable, the phone will again show you a prompt asking you whether you want to allow a USB connection with this particular desktop. Now, if this is not a public desktop and it only belongs to you, you can also choose always allow so that you don't have to click on this prompt again and again. So after allowing the USB debugging, if you go back to your Android studio, you can see that your device or the phone is now being listed as a target to run your app. Now remember that the minimum SDK that we set for our app is KitKat. So if you have a phone which is running some Android version which was before KitKat, it will not be shown as a target. So if your phone is correctly listed as the target, click on the green run button and the Android Studio will start a build to install your app on the phone. So as you can see here, the app is now running on the phone with the same hello world written in the center and the app name on top. So this is it for this video. If you're facing issues while running or connecting your phone to your Android studio, please leave them in the forum or chats and we will try to help you as soon as possible. In the next video, we'll try to explore more features provided by Android studio by changing some code in your first app. Thank you for watching.